Tesla's all new 2024 Model Y Juniper refresh is coming way sooner than we thought with 10 brand new features and major changes that is going to help Tesla not only make this the best car ever, but absolutely dominate the competition this year. But it may not be the only new Tesla launching very, very soon. Let me break down all the new info we've got on Model Y Juniper, the top 10 big changes coming to this car. Let's talk release date, let's talk pricing, let's talk incentives, and also answer the question, should you buy now, should you wait? Let me answer all that and so much more in this video right now, tell you everything you need to know about the all new Model Y for 2024, and also give a huge thanks to T-Parts for sponsoring this video. So while the rollout of Tesla's Model 3 Highland internationally has been very, very odd, I'm happy to say that finally this vehicle is here in the United States and it was very much worth the wait. I mean, it brings some massive improvements to the Model 3 in like every single way. It's the biggest refresh by far the Model 3 has ever gotten. And if you're looking to buy a Model 3, you could not have a better time than right now. This thing is brand new. It's amazing. You're going to love it, mostly. And while this is all great news for the Model 3 and Model 3 customers, it's not exactly great news for the Model Y and anyone who owns a Model Y or is looking to buy a Model Y, because even though it's Tesla's most popular vehicle, I mean, this is one of the world's best selling vehicles, it's now also Tesla's most dated model. It doesn't have a lot of the new features on the inside or the outside. It doesn't have ventilated seats. It does not have a rear screen. It's got no new design and it's looking old. It's not a bad car. Model Y is still great but it's not as compelling or competitive as Model 3 Cybertruck. Even the S and the X, even though they don't have a refresh as of filming this video that's coming soon, still do have things like ventilated seats, rear screen, stuff like that. So in many regards, Model Y, even though I think right now it's Tesla's cheapest model, uh, it is um, definitely uh, lacking uh, the upgrades and new features. But it will not be that way for much longer because multiple sources are reporting now that Tesla is hard at work and actively working right now on a total refresh for the Model Y, codename Project Juniper. We had Highland for Model 3, this is Juniper for the Y, that'll give us this huge vehicle refresh and make the Model Y better in almost every single way, not just making it better than the Model you know, S and X and Cybertruck, but even Juniper would be better potentially than the Model 3 Highland with some extra special features only in Juniper. Now, in terms of design, it's safe to say that Model Y Juniper is going to look very similar to Model 3 Highland. I mean, these cars share 95% of the same DNA. So if you want to know what to expect for Juniper and the new refresh Model Y, well, this is it. It's that new design on the outside. It's the new headlights. It's the new taillights. It's the new front and back uh, of these vehicles. And um, there's going to be a lot to love here on a new refresh design. It's similar, but different in the best way possible. And if these renders are anything like the real thing, it's going to look really great. Now, I should mention there has been some talk from some in the Tesla community over the last couple of days that maybe Tesla does a bit more. Maybe this is their opportunity to make the Model Y go in a uh, much different direction than Model 3, and maybe they could really do more here. But given that they sort of work off the same system and Tesla's trying to do as much as they can to cut costs and uh, make things as efficiently and uh, as cheaply as possible, it probably makes sense for them to sort of keep things the same. And it's probably most likely going to be basically the same design with potentially some extra special features for the Model Y coming sort of under the hood behind the scenes. Speaking of design, Tesla actually just launched a new part of the Model Y design a little bit early with two new colors for the Model Y. Obviously, we've got these uh, stealth gray and ultra red colors on Model 3, and they're supposed to be coming with Model Y Juniper, but it looks like probably to sort of keep the Model Y competitive, Tesla launched those early, and I think they look incredible. Maybe I'm a bit biased uh, as an ultra red Model X owner, but I think that color is great and well worth the $2,000 extra, uh, but stealth gray, can't go wrong with that as a free option as well. You can order those right now on the current Model Y, though I'll come back to this in a little bit because I don't think you should order now, but if you do, uh, two new colors to choose from that I think look great. And of course, will be there on the refresh Model Y too. But in addition to those two colors, there might actually be one or two new color options as well. Let me make this clear. This is very much a rumor as of right now, but because I'm trying to give you the details on everything we think we know about the new Model Y, I've just got to share that it has been reported 
as a rumor that we might see one or two more new colors with Model Y. For example, Abyss Blue has been a rumor for a while now that Tesla was working on a replacement to their blue color, which is still, as of right now, the only color that hasn't gotten an update, so that may make sense with an all-new color. And also, potentially, Quicksilver. This is only available in Europe as of right now, but it was recently spotted at Giga Texas, which has some wondering... What if we could see Quicksilver as a new color option for Model Y? That would be amazing. Hopefully we see it, but no promises. Just telling you what we think we know right now. And while we wait for the new Model Y Juniper Refresh to finally come, I've got to tell you that if you own a Model Y right now, there's an opportunity right now to give your Tesla a much needed huge upgrade. No need to wait for any new model and really make your Tesla stand out with a beautiful, unique trunk LED light strip made by T-Parts. And if that name T-Parts sounds familiar, yeah, I've talked about them before because they are my favorite place to get amazing Tesla accessories from game controllers, rear spoilers made of beautiful carbon fiber. T-Parts has it all, and if you wanna bring an amazing high quality experience to your Tesla, T-Parts is the place to go. And I've showed off before, they've got a really awesome frunk LED light strip that really illuminates the frunk, which is awesome. But if you wanna bring that experience back to, well, the back of your Tesla, look no further than this rear LED light strip specifically made for the Model Y and the trunk. I love that the install here is super simple, just takes a couple of minutes, and basically you're wrapping the LED light strip around and placing it in the built-in weather ceiling. Really, really simple, no extra tools or knowledge required takes you just a couple of minutes. And then when you're all done, there's a little sort of controller box that just nicely uh, sort of Velcros right to the area of the Model Y trunk right here. There's a built-in uh, plug in the back that you can just plug this in for power. And then voila, you've got some light in the back of your Model Y that just looks incredible. This is absolutely perfect if you wanna maybe camp in your car. Model Y camping is very popular and this is gonna be a really great way to illuminate the back of the vehicle. Even if you're just sort of using your vehicle at night and you want an easy way to to see what's back there. The built-in lighting isn't all that great, so this really helps with that. And also what I love here is that obviously when you close the trunk, it's gonna turn off so it's not always lit up. And also there's a sensor built in that's not going to turn it on during the daylight. Like I said before, T-Parts just has it all. They've got amazing Tesla accessories. I have tried so many on the market and I can tell you T-Parts are really far and above the rest. They've also got a brand new collection dedicated to the refresh Model 3 Highland that look all absolutely incredible. I love what T-Parts has to offer. I know you guys are gonna love it as well. So if you wanna add a unique uh, sort of spin to your Tesla, make it stand out and uh, add some extra utility and add some extra lighting or something else, T-Parts has got you covered. If you wanna learn more and check out T-Parts for yourself today, hit the link down below and give your Tesla a huge upgraded with some amazing accessories from T-Parts. Now I wanna make it very clear that as a current Model Y owner, the current model you can buy from Tesla right now is not a bad car. I own a 2022 long range Model Y. I love it. But the main reason I wouldn't recommend anyone buy a new model right now, even with the good savings, is that the interior upgrades coming with Project Juniper are just too good to pass up because they're gonna offer some major quality of life improvements that you're gonna notice when you drive the car like every single day in like almost every way. The RGB ambient lighting is cool and all and the new dashboard's cool, but that's not the big thing. The faster screen though, the cool the ventilated seats and the better audio system are three examples of real world improvements you're going to like and use and notice every single time you drive the car. Also the quieter cabin is a big deal as well, sort of the softer ride. There are some improvements here that you know, whether you know, give or take the outside, you might not like or care for that design, but the inside stuff here is a big deal and are like quality of life things you're going to enjoy as you drive your Model Y. In that instance, that's really why I would recommend waiting for most people. But with the good changes, of course, do come some bad ones as well. And I do want to mention a couple of changes here some people might not like. One is the removal of stocks. I mean, Tesla's moving this all to the wheel. Um, if you're not a fan of the stockless design, you can't really buy any modern Tesla these days because they're removing it across the board. Cybertruck, SX, 3Y, no stocks. So um, if you're a fan of stocks, then you're gonna have to look at an older model because they're not on any modern Teslas. And also be wary of a standard range Model Y because Tesla looks to be removing some features on this model, even with the refresh in 2024. The standard uh, Model Y will not have an upgraded sound system. So it's sort of a base sound system. We have this in Model 3 Highland as well, just a less substantial audio system. And also we're hearing that Tesla might be software locking down front heated seats, 
Rear heated seats and heated wiper blades, so keep that in mind that if you sort of uh, use those features, you may have to pay extra. But also, given sort of the new features, I also wonder if ventilated seats could be a software locked feature as well. It seems like heated seats is more of a standard feature. Ventilated seats might be considered more premium, but just do keep in mind that if you opt for the standard range offering, you will save some money on the overall price, but you're going to be losing features, some in software locking form and also some hardware form like the uh, sound system, to my uh, knowledge, is like a totally different sound system that even if you wanted to pay money, uh, you could not upgrade. So just keep that in mind if you're looking at the base model. Okay, so lots of good Model Y Juniper updates here, but I've also got a curveball to share, and that is that Potentially, this may not actually be the design we get after all. A new photo appears to show some model wise next to some secret model also being transported. This is going from Giga Texas uh, to Fremont, and there's a lot of speculation as to what this could be. Is it just a regular old Model Y they've got sort of wrapped up? Is it an early prototype of the Model Y Juniper Refresh? Some have even speculated that this is a totally different Model Y design, or maybe it's an iteration of the new sort of lower cost Tesla. We don't know as of right now, it probably is just another Model Y wrapped up, but if it is a Model Y Juniper Refresh going from Texas to Fremont, that would be very interesting because we know that while Tesla is going to make the new Model Y at their plant in Texas, they do a lot of their engineering testing and driving testing over at their plant in Fremont. So if they are shipping some models from Texas to California, that uh, sort of signals to us that uh, maybe this is a little bit more developed than we thought and the refresh might be coming a lot sooner than we thought, sort of to be out as uh, close as possible to the launch of Model 3 Highland. In terms of pricing, if we take a look at what Tesla did with Model 3 Highland in the US, nothing changed. So I would think that uh, the same will go for Model Y Juniper as well. I guess it sort of depends on when it launches, but if it was to launch tomorrow, it looks like no pricing will change. Federal incentives should still be included for those vehicles as well. So you can save $7,500 across the board on every single model. That's great. And that's not the story on the Model 3. So that is really cool to see on the Model Y. And then in terms of when we could see this actually launch, we're hearing right now that Tesla in China will begin mass production of this vehicle uh, by the summer, sort of in the uh, first half of this year. But given the Model 3, rollout strategy. That could mean we don't get it in the U.S. until early next year, maybe the end of this year. Seems like Tesla sort of does stuff internationally first, then they bring it over to the U.S. So given the Model 3 Highland launched back in September, they're about six months out, five, six months out-ish from their U.S. launch. So let's say this launches in June or July in China. That would probably give us a sort of December, January launch of Model Y uh, Juniper here in the U.S. Hopefully it's faster than that. Maybe uh, that uh, shipment from Texas to Fremont does include a Juniper refresh ready for testing, uh, but that's what we know as of right now. There's also going to be a performance model that should be absolutely crazy for the Highland and Juniper refreshes. That'll be amazing. The Model 3 performance is looking like a mini Model S Plaid, and the Model Y Juniper performance version is looking like a Model X Plaid. Minus the Falcon Wing doors, it's going to have one Plaid motor, it's going to have new sports seats, a new premium interior, and a ludicrous mode. Going to be really, really cool, and if you've been sort of having the itch for Model X Plaid, but don't need the space for the Falcon Wing doors, and want to save a considerable chunk of change, Model Y performance might be a great way to go, and hopefully will also qualify for that $7,500 federal tax credit that can't be said about Model X Plaid. So that is the latest. That is all we know about Model Y Juniper right now. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you gonna buy a Model Y Juniper refresh? Are you gonna wait? Did you put an order in for Model 3 Highland? Let me know in the comments down below. I wanna thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate you all so much. And if you're watching this far in the video, drop down below uh, what model and year Tesla you own. Is it a 2022 Model Y, a 2023 Model 3? Let me know down below which Tesla you have and how you like it in the comments down below. That'll let me know you made it to the very end of the video, which I really do appreciate. Thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, you are awesome. Thank you, as always. I'm Robert Rosenfeld. I'll see you in the next one.